Okay, here we are at Salvation Mountain. Obviously there's a lot to it. The iPad video does a pretty good job of letting me do a panorama. Now, let's have some fun. There's a section of this that we can actually walk through. There's some shrine grottos here. Obviously somebody, some buddies, put a lot of effort into this place over time. Not so much in this one as the previous one, but you get the idea. And this is pretty cool. When you go inside, it's this whole complex three-dimensional structure. It's made with all kinds of branches and tree trunks and get a shot overhead here, even some Saw some suspiciously straight pieces. Looked like they might have been some kind of wooden rod, giant dowel. There we go, a steel pipe right up there. Looks kind of like a real tree. Very tree like. All the swoopy branches and everything. Extremely colorful. The amount of paint used in here is just absolutely redonkulous. Don't worry if you're lost, so am I. This is a kind of a maze. Turning up overhead here, sweeping back down. They even incorporate car parts, all kinds of things. It just goes all the way up, probably 30 some feet. Three Possibly four stories. Nice kitty. Go out this other way. I don't imagine this is going to be one of the greatest videos ever. Going from inside to outside, the light level keeps changing. Be amazed if this turns out anywhere decent. be a testament to my skill at the camera. I'm just holding the thing. It would be 
some kind of a accolade to the magic inside the iPod, iPad, excuse me, that lets it adapt. And deal with scatterbrain photographers like me. Well, turn back towards the entrance and back out. And there we have it, a little taste of the inside of the 3D labyrinth in the bowels of Salvation Mountain. Bye-bye.